in response to God's word and God's love for us, I invite you to stand as you are able and willing and join me in affirming our faith using the words of the Apostles' Creed, which can be found printed in your bulletins. Beloved friends, what do we believe? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. You may be seated. Before we turn to a time of prayer together, we share in the sad news of the death of Tim Worthington and Rudy McCullough. Both Tim and Rudy died earlier this week on March 18th. A service celebrating the life of Tim Worthington was held this past Friday, March 22nd. And a service celebrating the life of Rudy McCullough will be held this coming week on Tuesday, March 26th at 11 a.m. here in the sanctuary. Friends, let us turn to God in prayer. God of wanderers and wanderers, we cry out to you this morning in thirst, joining the chorus of doubters as we ask, is God really with us or not? God of life, as we test and quarrel, we pray that you might quench our thirst. Saving God, you are the giver of living water, the source of deepest compassion, the fountain of eternal life. God of the shadows, we pray alongside all those who are thirsty. Thirsty for a life of meaning, thirsty for a word of grace, thirsty for a drink of water. God, for all who are weary, we pray alongside. Weary from life's long journey, weary from quarreling and testing, weary from pain or grief. God, for all who are broken, we pray alongside them, broken by sin and suffering, broken by hard disappointment, broken by painful acts of violence. God, of our doubts and our shadows, our testing and our quarreling isn't always done out loud and our thirst isn't always verbalized. Hear now, O oh God, the silent meditations of our hearts. Living God, through your Spirit, pour your love into our hearts, your grace into our lives, your healing into our world. Until the earth is filled with your glory as the waters cover the sea. God, it is through the beautiful name of Christ that we pray, the one who taught us to pray by saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Friends, just as God provides for us in the wilderness, so too are we called to offer our treasures, our talents, our efforts, and our energies. 
So let us now offer our lives and the gifts which we bring this day. Come, let us give joyfully.